guys welcome back again to my channel the Appalachian home so in today's video I'm gonna be talking about how to change material settings in design space so I'm gonna go and show you how to do that right now okay so first we're gonna go ahead and go into design space okay now we're just gonna open a new project and I'm using the maker today um, but I do think this is going to work for the Explore Air series as well. The Cricut Joy is a little bit different, so this may not work the same for the Cricut Joy. So we're going to go in and I'm going to select an image just to show you how to change the cut settings. And I'm just going to select this image here and insert it into my canvas. Okay, so now we have an image pulled up. I'm going to go ahead and go to Make It and hit Continue. Okay, so for those of you who do not know how to select a material setting, you just go into Browse All Materials, and there it brings up a drop down box. You can choose your material. You can also type in Search All Materials and search whatever material you are using, whether it be vinyl or cardstock. So I want to use vinyl, um, and let's use premium vinyl, which is what I mostly use for Cricut brand material so now we have our material set to premium vinyl and we've cut our image out but what if our image is not cutting perfectly through I will show you an example of what this looks like here I have a really detailed decal that has some really tiny circles and they're not sticking to my backing they're pulling away so I'm gonna need to adjust my pressure either up or down to um, perfect this cut okay so if this happens the first thing you can do to adjust your material settings is go in to your pressure and you will find it here at this box under your base material under the number one go into pressure and go to more this ups your pressure just enough to give you a just a little bit extra cut and this actually works for me for a pretty good um, maybe two to three weeks using just a little bit more pressure on my vinyl just to get a perfect cut and this is one method you can use to really make your blades last a lot longer and really push out the use you get out of your blades if you adjust your pressure to more and you find your cut is worse then you may want to adjust your pressure to less this can also really help fine adjust those cuts sometimes your pressure is just a little too much and you need to turn it down just a notch okay the next thing you can do to adjust your material settings and pressure settings is actually go back into your materials here on your screen then you'll go to browse all materials is you want to go to the bottom of the screen and click material settings that brings up your custom materials box from there you can scroll down through all of the different materials to find the material that you're working with that you want to change the settings on so for this example I want to change the settings on premium vinyl so here's my premium vinyl now you'll notice it has three different adjustments here see there's a cut pressure a multi cut and a blade top the cut pressure is the pressure your blade is pushing down on your material the multi cut just means how many times you're going to be cutting over your design so you can actually change this to do two or even three times or more depending on what material you're using and then of course your blade top you have a fine point blade a deep point blade a knife blade so you can also change those as you need to the first thing i like to do is change the cut pressure so i'm going to go down here to premium vinyl so under premium vinyl the cut pressure that Cricut has set is 107 now you want to write this number down if you're going to be changing it because when you do use a new blade and install a new blade in your machine this is the perfect number to match a new blade so you want to remember this in case you do ever change your blade and need to restart the way you edit your pressure settings is just go in to edit and from there you can move this little round dot to get more pressure or less pressure the least amount you can use on a fine point blade is 70 and the most you can use is 350. and just remember that 107 if you're going to adjust that pressure so that you can change it back later when you're adjusting your material settings I would start with increments of 5 to 10 to 15 um, so that you can kind of find that perfect number that you need to make a really great cut okay and the third thing you can do under material settings is actually going to go to browse all materials again and now I just want to go ahead and create a brand new material um, this is handy 
if I'm wanting to remember the pressure settings I have for a blade that is like two months old. So I want to go here to the bottom of the screen, go into material settings. And now when you scroll all the way to the bottom of that screen, there's a green box that says add new material. And from there you can give it a name. So for instance, premium vinyl two month blade. So I can save that. Okay, and now you can really fine tune your um, pressure settings to whatever you want them to be. So first I'm going, so we know our premium bottle was first set on 107. If I have tested my material at 115 and it cuts perfectly, then I'm gonna set my new material to 115. Also, if you're working with another material such as stencil material, I did a video I'll link above about stencil material, you can also adjust how many times you're gonna be cutting over that material. So for instance, if I go to the multi-cut box, which is this box here in the middle, right now it's set to off. That means it's gonna cut one time at a pressure of 115. If I click on that box, I can select up to nine times. So you can actually cut a material at a pressure of 115 up to nine times to get it to cut all the way through your material. This is really awesome. If you're using materials that Cricut may not actually really specify in their menu, um, such as the stencil material I did in that video was not listed in the menu. So I just created my own material with my own pressure settings and like a three times cut and you can also change this to a deep point blade, um, which gives you just a little bit more leverage on your cut settings. You can also change this to a rotary blade, depending on what uh, material you're gonna be using. So I'm gonna leave this at a five point blade at a pressure of 115. Now you wanna click save. Now when you're going to select your new material, to go into browse all materials, I'm going to type in premium and I'm just gonna leave it at that because it's gonna bring, bring up um, all the items that have premium. So here I found my premium vinyl two month blade. If you go over here to the star and select the star, that puts it directly in your favorites menu. And now it has brought this premium vinyl two month blade up in the top screen. I don't have to look through all my materials anymore. I can just select it and cut. And that is true for any material that you use. If you select the star, it will bring it up here in your favorites um, menu. But my favorites menu I really love because I can actually customize any material that I'm using a lot to pop up on the top of my screen. So I hope this video was helpful and you guys enjoyed it. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in my next video.